we have been here in Austin, Massachusetts for the last five days, and we have been having a doozy of a time with the weather. It has either been socked in with fog uh, for three straight days, and the other two days that we've been here have had really high potential for severe thunderstorms. So we've just been hanging out here on the hook. But we are finally getting ready to get going, and it's looking like the weather is going to be good for us to go to Situate tomorrow. So we are going to do that in the morning. As always, nothing goes as planned. All right, so changing plans. Since it's today, the wind's coming. It was predicted to be out of the east. And then <laughs> over the last, like, three days, we went from east to northeast to north, all on the same day for Monday. Massachusetts Bay was showing north, so at like five to 10, looking at the models, they're all like, they don't know what they're gonna do. And like some of them are seeing like gusts up to 18 knots. And our weather router says they're having a really tough time figuring out what the weather's gonna actually do today. So rather than like try to plow into 18 knot winds for Potentially six hours. Potentially six hours. We decided just to, to bail and situate, and we called a marina in Sandwich, which is on the other end of the canal, which will get us through the canal. So we can be there in the morning. Peace out. The reason that we were going to be going to situate in the first place was because the way that the currents are timed right now is that we really were only going to be able to get a six or seven hour day at most because the current was switching at like 10, 11, or 12, depending on what day we left. So we were only going to go to situate versus going to Gloucester or Rockport because we weren't going to be able to have a full travel day. So this sets us up to be able to go tomorrow up to Rockport, which was our original plan in the first place, was to go Tuesday to Rockport instead of from Situate to Rockport, we're just going to go from Sandwich to Rockport, so. And tomorrow, they have predicted, all the models predicted, west winds. The exact five, same thing. Exact same thing, west winds, <laughs> 5 to 10, gusting to 15. So, so an excellent sailing day. So hopefully it'll be a good day. Ow! <laughs> so hopefully it'll be a nice beam reach sail up to Rockport. <laughs> I need to do something about this hair. <laughs> We left Onset and ventured out into the Cape Cod Canal. The wind was blowing pretty heavily out of the southwest, and the current was still moving east through the canal. So we had some pretty crazy wind versus current waves as we entered the channel. We timed our passage through the canal to have the current be as light as possible, but in our favor. We left 30 minutes after low tide at Buzzards Bay Station, and that was just about perfect. Mark it on your calendars, July 19th, 2021, E. Cola passed another boat. It's always exciting. We're going eight and a half knots right now, and like it's steady eight and a half. It's not like a here and there kind of thing. Um, it's kind of crazy. Oh, look, there's a boat behind me. We're coming up on Sandwich Marina, so I'm gonna hail them in just a minute. It may look like we're about to hit the wall, but the current is pushing us so fast that we crab walked right into the entrance of Sandwich Harbor. Long journey today. 
How far did we go? Seven miles. <laughs> in like an hour and 20 minutes, something like that, until we leave. Any tips or tricks for the Cape Cod Canal? Wicked current. Wicked current. Yeah. You definitely time it and check your tra tide charts and stuff like that. Your current tables. And watch out for the current versus waves. Yeah. Current versus wind, which makes big waves. Yeah, make sure you're on channel 13. Because that's where like the canal operations people call each other on. So you can kind of hear hear what's going on. Big traffic. Because the big traffic have to like call on radio the canal control. So the bathrooms at this marina are like a half mile away. They're in that building right there, which is a forever walk away. We left the uh, anchor light on. Oh crap. We're not going to remember that we were uh... <laughs> just casually going to the showers and taking our trash. That was my first onshore shower in a week, and it was amazing. One of the best marina showers I've had in a really long time. Uh, we are going to hit the hay early because we're going to be getting up with first light and getting on our way to Rockport. So we'll see y'all next time.